shake the simplest feeling beyond the ghost We stand on the opposite shore Hello, Ramona I reach through mysterious ceilings My only hope I look for the things I don't know I know that was a really random time to start this vlog, but Happy weekend. It's gonna be a weekend vlog and normally I start filming in the morning, but tonight I just wanted to show you that we made that TikTok pasta and it was actually really delicious. But that being said, it is Easter weekend and I'm really excited because this year, um, Aiden's a little bit older. We can actually do the fun things like collar the eggs and do the Easter egg hunt. So I'm excited for all of those things. For now, I'm just gonna relax and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I had a client that I trained this morning, so I was out of the house bright and early. I made my coffee nice and early, had a shake, and now I'm sitting at the table with Aiden who is eating some blueberries. Tom just went to go get his vaccine. I'm gonna get mine at 1240 today, so I'm so excited about that. I'm really happy that we were able to get appointments and that it's like one step closer to some kind of normal again you know um, I'm gonna take my collagen which I've been taking every day and I love it it does such awesome things for my skin so yeah kind of a lazy morning hopefully we feel good after we get our vaccines I know I was a little tired after the first one and this is gonna be the second one so this is like the one that I heard was when you get the most side effects so we'll see but it's Friday and Easter is Sunday, so hopefully by Sunday we'll be feeling better and I don't know, I'm just hopeful. It is so cold today. I had to take my winter coat back out of the closet because it is only 41 degrees out and I'm freezing. I'm heading to go get my vaccine at the Meadowlands and then I have some errands to run, so I'm gonna take you with me while I just pick up a couple of things. Oh, such a good feeling to be vaccinated. Um, I know so many states are like opening up their eligibility now and I think it's so important that we get vaccinated to just try to have some sense of normalcy and uh, you know, stop, stop the spread going forward. I really struggled over the past year with like anxiety and depression and everything related to just being in lockdown and having a little baby and feeling so isolated and all of that. And this just like really gives me a feeling of hope and um, better days to come. By the way, my mask that I was wearing, I, I like to wear that particular mask over an N95 just when I'm in like a large crowd and whatnot. And even though I'm vaccinated now, I'm still gonna be obviously following all the mandates and everything for masks. These are the masks that I picked up from Tara. I'm actually gonna link her um, Instagram here on the screen and I'll put her website down in the description box as well. But how cute are these? The other thing I love about these is she, not only does she make the fabric on the inside cute, I had her put filter pocket inside. So we just got a pack of a hundred of these filters on Amazon and they just slide right in that little pocket. So these are just cotton mask. So I do feel more comfortable just putting a filter inside. So, so cute. <music> Tom is putting Aiden to bed tonight. We 
switch on and off. And I'm making dinner, requested by my husband. This is the artichoke green pesto pizza. And I make this like all of the time. What I do is, um, I'm actually gonna link the recipe in the description box, but it's pretty easy, sort of. You can buy a pre-made pesto, but I like to make the one in the recipe. Um, so this is just a spinach and basil pesto that I made. Um, I toasted the walnuts, I added the shaved parmesan, spinach and basil, salt and pepper, olive oil. Super easy. And then I buy this crust pre-made from Trader Joe's. This is the herb and it's the herb crust that they have. And it's like for breadsticks or for pizza. So we really like that one. You could do a plain crust also. Um, it's just as good. So I'm just gonna really quick like speed up the process and show you how I make this pizza and how it looks when it comes out at the end because it is delicious. And vaccine update so far. So far I feel completely normal but I've been moving around a lot. My husband's starting to get really, really tired. So it's just gonna be a lazy night and hopefully tomorrow we're not like too sick or anything. Bunny came. What's in there? Oh, cool! Batman. Watch out, the dog. That's Batman. Batman. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that you do? Sunday now we totally skipped over Saturday because I was not feeling well after my vaccine and I'll update you more about that later but right now I'm gonna get to making some bunny pancakes I think this should be a hit because these are all things that he likes to eat kind of put together on a plate so I'm gonna try hopefully it's hopefully it comes out cute so we grow old please tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day you said using the chocolate dark chocolate uh, Kodiak cakes power cakes mix I get this at Target and it's one of my favorites um, it's like a protein pancake mix a lot of times for Aiden I make my own mix but this one's so good and it does have little chocolate chips in it so it's kind of a little treat you make me smile what is it that you do my life was great till you added color Yeah, that's here too. Okay, so we just got ready. Finally, I feel better. Like now that I have some 
makeup on and whatnot. I'm just filling Easter eggs with little star snacks, uh, the little puffs, and I put some of the cheddar bunnies and some of the other ones. So I can put these in the yard at my in-laws house for my nephew and my son to have an Easter egg hunt. We'll see how that goes. As with most things, they're kind of at an age where I'm not quite sure how they're going to handle anything, but I figure, like, why not just try starting these traditions early? Um, I also wanted to tell you guys about my COVID vaccine reaction that I had. So I actually had every symptom. I could not get on camera yesterday because I just did not feel well. Um, at about the 12 hour mark, about 1 a.m., I had a fever. I woke up, could not get comfortable. I had chills, I was sweating, um, all of that. And so around four o'clock I got up, took some Tylenol and tried to get back to sleep. For the rest of the day it kind of lingered on. Um, my arm was really sore, I just felt fatigued. Literally every flu symptom you can think of. And today I finally feel better, um, though I do still have like a swollen lymph node in my armpit on the side where I got the shot. So I'm just gonna keep an eye on that. But other than that, I feel completely fine today, which is great. All right, almost done. I got like four left to do, and we are gonna head out. All right, you ready to go? He looks so tired. Where's the bunny? Where's the bunny? Yeah. Good boy. Oh, how cute. Hey. That's your baby. Put it in your basket and a leaf. Very good. Oh. You see it? Oh, good job! Hit, hit both the trigger and the and where your middle finger is at the same time. That's what she said. Are you able to grab something? Oh, I got it. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we just got home. It's much later. We lost track of time once again. If you're still watching, then you know the Easter egg hunt went really well, actually. We had such a fun day, and it was just like an exhausting but gorgeous, gorgeous Easter Sunday. So I'm gonna say goodbye here. I hope that you enjoyed the recipes and hanging out with us as a family. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.